Welcome back. The Navy League held its Sea Air Space Conference in Washington, D.C. last week, and we stopped by the Northrop Grumman booth to take an up-close look at the Argam ER missile that is currently in development for the Navy. The missile is made to target surface-to-air radar systems while keeping aircraft and troops a safe distance away. That's this week's Actionable Intelligence. Tim, we're standing in front of the Argam ER missile. Tell us about this missile. So the Argam ER stands for Advanced Anti-Radiation uh, Extended Range Missile. And really what it is is a follow-on to the uh, Argam missile program, which has uh, been in uh, the U.S. Navy inventory for about the last decade, a follow-on to the HARM missile system. It's been around for several decades. And really what it does, it brings into modern uh, capabilities and modern kinematics to be allow us to more standoff range when engaging uh, potential adversaries' threat systems uh, in order to uh, stay outside of their uh, kinematics, buying us more uh, survivability. And what kind of targets does it go after? It goes after enemy air defense systems. It's currently in development. Uh, we've, uh, over the last uh, half a year or so, we've had several uh, test shots, and we're going to continue doing the developmental test shots over the next year, year and a half, uh, all in accordance with the current schedule, and we're going to IOC, our initial operation capability for the U.S. Navy, will occur uh, next summer, the summer of 2023, on uh, Super Hornets and Growlers, EA-18s and FNA-18s, E's and F's. Well, what does the, the Navy need this right now? Requirements are born out of the last several decades of just maturation and technology advancing. So both uh, with the uh, detection the capabilities of the systems themselves, but also the kinematics of the weapon systems being able to reach further out and pushing us uh, further and further away. And so the aircraft and other systems that we have to protect, necessitating that we'll be able to engage these air defense systems from longer ranges to be in a survivable sanctuary and stay out of the, uh, the, the adversary's uh, missile engagement zone where they could reach out and hit us. So essentially this makes it safer for Navy, Navy planes in the sky? It, it makes it safer for uh, the Navy and the uh, other customers who will ultimately fly with the Argam ER to be able to go and support uh, uh, any type of forces there in the supporting role to uh, take care of. Well, Tim, thank you for having us over.